Hi and welcome to my channel. So the EU has recently introduced an amazing visa that enables you to work across um, over 25 different countries. So this is really interesting because obviously as we know since COVID-19, it's been chaos, you know, in terms of staffing. All the countries are desperate for staff and everybody is turning to non-EU workers, non-EU migrants trying to attract more people to move. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about this new um, European work visa that enables you to work not only in one country, but you can work across the EU with just the one um, work permit. And the good thing also is that you can move with your family. So I'll be telling you the eligibility criteria. I'll be telling you how to apply, where to apply, you know, what do you need, how it works, how much it costs, and literally the whole shebang. So if you're new to my channel, you are welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I obviously do appreciate your time. And look, implementation is key. Like I say, if you're wanting to travel overseas, the least you can do is have your passport. So I would like you to leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I have got my passport. Also, if you're planning to travel, where do you want to travel to? What is your objective? What is your best country? Like if you could just like, if dreams could come true, which country would you travel to? I want you to also leave the comments in the comment section below. If you're already in your dream country, I'd also like to know in the comment section. But look, make sure you mention that you've got a passport if you're out and still wanting to travel to that country. So obviously, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do want to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification button so you're the first person to be notified every single time when I drop a new video on here. Also, before I get started, I do have a free newsletter where I can send information about free visa sponsorship opportunities, you know, career progression pathways in the UK, work from home jobs that you can do without even worrying about all these visas, as well as side business ideas that you can start to earn a lot more money so you can retire early and leave the rat race of working and living paycheck to paycheck, month to month, broke without any money. So if you check the comment section below, I've dropped a link to my newsletter. It's completely free. You can also find um, my contact details on there. So you've got my number, you've got my email. And, you know, it's just about interacting, making sure that you're not relying on the YouTube algorithm and you've got the information that you need. So, you know, there you go. So basically, this particular um, work permit, like I've said, it enables you to work across the EU. So that's the EU member states. And um, it was introduced as a way of facilitating, you know, for high potential individuals. So when it comes to the eligibility criteria, you do need to be a high potential individual, which means that you need to be above average, basically. And, you know, which means if you are, say, in IT and you want to go to Germany, if the average pay in Germany is about £30,000 per year, for this visa to be eligible, you need to be earning about four to five thousand. That's like a basic requirement for this particular um, visa, which means that if you are somebody who is earning above average or you're very good at what you do, basically that's what it is. You need to be so good at what you do that, you know, you then have the evidence for you to get the visa. So what is the sort of evidence that you can have? Um, obviously, to show that you're highly qualified in something, you need certification. For example, you can have a degree. If you're in IT, for example, you would have your degree certificate. If you've had extra certifications in IT, again, you're going to have that. I'm just giving IT as an example. This visa, you can apply from any sector. It doesn't matter. But the only thing is that you need to have evidence, you know, to support your application. So I'm only taking IT as an example because it's got people from across all different sectors, all different fields. And so your degree certificate, your training certificate, if you've done vocational training, that certificate that they give you at the end of it, you can add it there. If you've had trophies, for example, you can add it there. If you've had awards, you can add those awards on there. If you've had, I don't know, promotions and you are. So those are the sorts of things that you're going to need to show that you are a high potential individual. Also, you can bring your family on this visa. Obviously, your family, they don't need to show evidence of these because they are coming kind of as dependents, obviously. So once you've applied for your visa, obviously, then through through your own, they can have theirs as well. By the way, if you're watching this, you're wondering who I am. My name's Melvis. I so I live in the UK. I live in England. 
Um, I work as an advanced nurse practitioner. So I'm a very senior nurse. You know, I moved to the UK myself. I started my journey as a carer in a nursing home and then I've progressed. So career progression is something that I'm very passionate about. But, you know, it can be challenging, you know, when you're away from home in a different country, getting started, knowing what to do, the steps and all that. So I've got a private career coaching program where I support carers, nurses, students, student nurses, prospective student nurses, people that want to get into healthcare, clinical, non-clinical healthcare jobs, as well as people that want to move to the UK through visa sponsorship. Or if you're already in the UK and you are wanting to switch your visa to get a job, I can support you with that process through my private coaching program. Um, we have, you know, weekly live sessions. There are one-on-one -on -one sessions, depending on the plan that you have. We also have um, CV reviews. What are the jobs offering visa sponsorship in the UK? You know, the free, the companies that offer free visa sponsorship without charging you. Interview preparation. What do you need for the job? How do you apply? Where do you apply? So I support with all of these. If this is something that you're keen on, you're interested in, do check the about section of this YouTube channel or indeed the description box below and you'll see a link to my private coaching program. Once you join, then I can support you with that journey, with that process so that you can begin to achieve your goals. You know, if it's career progression that you're working on, then we can get started to see this is where you are now. What do you need to get to the next point? That step-by-step -step guide that is always missing because the truth is that YouTube videos like these are very good, but they don't give the, the whole picture. It is very generic. You're watching this now. I don't know who you are. You could be somebody who is, you know, I, I've got no idea. But when you have that tailored, individualized and personalized guidance, that's what really helps you to move to the next step because it's all about you. You know, so that's what I offer through that program. So my YouTube videos are generic, just giving generic information. But my private coaching program is helping you to implement that information that you see on YouTube. Because like I've said, implementation is what people are struggling with, not necessarily information per se. So I look forward to seeing you obviously in the program. And like I was saying, um, by the way, I don't know whether I've mentioned this, but this particular work visa is called the EU Blue Card. So the EU Blue Card, you also need um, health insurance. I was forgetting this. You need health insurance for yourself. If you're bringing your family, they need to have health insurance as well. And then one of the good things about this particular visa is that um, in some countries, you don't actually have to pay. But in those countries where you have to pay, it is actually less than a hundred pounds. So it is very cheap. And again, that is a, a, like a massive difference, like a big difference between moving to the UK and moving to Europe. When you're moving to Europe, it's very cheap to move to Europe. There are visas, the processes are very, very cheap, even though um, it's not necessarily the preferred destination for many people. But if you're moving to the UK, it can be very expensive. And I've got people in my program that have moved, for example, and they have spent like £10,000 or even in excess, just looking at visa fees, healthcare surcharge for the family and all of that. And this is with them having free visa sponsorship to move to the UK, which means that they have not paid for the certificate of sponsorship. They've had a legit UK employer. But because you've got a family with three kids, four kids, the bills can really, really add up, you know, especially if you're switching in the UK, applying for indefinite leave to remain. But in Europe, the fees are very, very low. Most of them are free. And even those that are not free, they cost less than £100 to actually apply. So again, these are some of the things they want to be thinking about. If you're considering this EU blue card, obviously, um, you also need to have at least one year contract with the particular company, which means, for example, if you want to go to Germany, that's your preferred destination. You need to go online and check EU blue card for Germany. And then, you know, you can apply for jobs, you know, do your interview, the normal process. Once you're successful, if you're eligible to apply for the EU blue card rather than a normal work permit then the eu blue card obviously is better but even if you're not eligible for this you can just apply for a normal work permit so it doesn't mean that you know you can't move at all if you're not getting the eu blue card because obviously the pay can be a challenge for some people who are moving who are not in very highly paid jobs or who are not very highly skilled because like i said initially this visa this special work visa is meant for highly skilled individuals because it gives them that flexibility to work across you know so many different countries and also one thing the only countries two countries in the eu so part of eu member states that you cannot move to to work with this particular eu blue card 
you've got Denmark and you've got, I think it's Ireland. And when I say Ireland, I don't mean um, obviously Northern Ireland because that's part of the UK. I mean the Republic of Ireland, which is part of the EU. So these are the only two countries that if you have the EU blue card, you're not able to move to to work. Obviously, you can still visit, but not to work. And also just to differentiate this in case you're wondering, if you have a normal work visa, let's say in Germany, to give an example, or in Denmark, if you have a normal work visa in Denmark, um, it enables you to visit all the other EU member states, but you're not allowed to work there until you've got your indefinite leave to remain. So again, that's one major advantage that this EU blue card has, the fact that if you wanted to work in another EU state country, because for whatever reason, then you don't need to have a separate work permit. So that's the advantage. Meanwhile, if you have just a normal work permit that is not an EU blue card, you can visit, but you cannot work. So you can see that if you're somebody who is highly skilled, who is highly experienced, there are massive advantages that come with it. If you like this content, just like the video, if you know anybody that can benefit from this, do feel free to share with them and to make sure they, they too can benefit. In terms of applying for jobs, um, obviously it's a normal job web, you know, website. You could use Indeed, you can use Read, you can use LinkedIn, you can use Glassdoor. You know, you can just even go to Google and put jobs. If you know the particular country that you want, you simply Google, I don't know, jobs in Finland, for example, when they pop up, then you can have a look. Because sometimes um, if you're not resident in a particular country, you may not necessarily know which websites they use. But if you go to Google, that's why Google is so amazing. If you just go to Google and put that info in, then obviously it's going to pop up. And once it pops up, then you go through the different pages to see out the information that is relevant for you. And that's how you then get to apply for this. So you will get a response within 90 days from when you apply. They'll obviously assess all of your evidence, all your credentials, your qualifications. And then, you know, if you are qualified then they will give you the eu blue card otherwise just apply for a normal work visa which still enables you to work in your chosen country but and visit the other countries but just that you can't work in the other countries except the two that we've mentioned denmark and the republic of ireland and this is because these two countries have their own special high potential um individual visa just like the uk the uk has as well which to move to the uk with this particular visa you don't need to have a job like before per se they've got other processes how they assess you is more about endorsement i've also done a video on here about this pathway to move to the uk through this high potential individual if something that you're keen on check out this channel again and you'll see that um these are opportunities that you want to make the most of you want to try you know you want to explore you want to make sure that you are doing the best that you can, putting in the best effort to achieve your goals and move to whatever country it is that you choose. Um, yes, it can take time, but it's worth it. Again, for this um, EU blue card, some countries will require like five years worth of experience. Others require one year of experience. But either way, the job that you get has to have at least one year contract. That is the main thing um, that you need to have. So either way, check the countries that have the eligibility criteria that you want because if you get it you can work in other countries anyway so you need to be really smart how you decide which country initially to apply from and i think um it's something that is very achievable it's a fantastic visa um if i was wanting to travel right now i would probably consider this visa you know if i was eligible or just the normal work visa type so i hope that you found this helpful um, if you've got any questions, do leave them in the comment section below. Also, remember, I've got a free newsletter which you can join. You know, just drop your name and email. It won't take you 20 seconds to join. And I'll send you that info directly to your inbox. But if you need my tailored, individualized and personalized support to move to the UK or career progression, you know, in the UK, then you can consider joining my private coaching program, which you will find in the about section or description box below. Do share this with your contacts so that they can benefit from this information, um, you know, because you just never know. And make sure you've got your passport. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.